If you want to know what's hot in Hollywood, look no further. It's all right here on Velvet Red. I'm Ellen Kay, and every week we invite you to slip behind the Velvet Red rope. The way we do it is to give you exclusive access to Velvet Red Carpet world premieres of all your favorite blockbuster movies. You'll also look your best. We scour the globe to get you the latest fashion trends first. And hey, we all deserve to be treated like a VIP, right? Velvet Red teams up with celebrities you love to get you exclusive deals. Then we throw in amazing discounts. If you'd like to get in on all the action, all you have to do is log on to velvetredtv.com. Today, Velvet Red goes on location to Scottsdale, Arizona. Leo Quinone sat down with the cast of Disney's John Carter. Of course, if you want to see the John Carter cast interviews in their entirety, they're waiting for you at velvetredtv.com. What happens when a soldier from the Civil War gets transported to the planet Mars? Lots. That's what happens to John Carter. Standing by in the Arizona desert is our very own Leo Quinones, who's got the exciting John Carter scoop. Thanks so much, Ellen. I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona. This kind of resembles Mars. We're talking about Disney's John Carter. Now, Edward Rice Burroughs wrote this story a hundred years ago. So, what you have is like the best of science fiction, fantasy, action, and a little romance dropped in. Well, here's my interview with the star, John Carter himself, Taylor Kitsch. You, Taylor, your beliefs, what do you think about life existing on other planets? It's more fun to think that they do than they don't. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, sure. A lot of actors, they, they try <laughs> to look their best. They try to look dashing on stage and dashing right. on the screen. You guys didn't have that. You guys wanted to look bad or you wanted to look yeah. weathered, why? Yeah. Well, I think it's you're just staying true to the character and the circumstance. It's very unrelatable if you're like, man, he just literally went through war, mm -hmm. killed 40 people, oh wait, and then he just got shot down, stabbed, wounded, you know, you just try and do it, and it's all part of the escape. Well, I wanted to know, say, <laughs> Leo, here's a fact about the Civil War you did not know. Give me a fact about the Civil uh, War. The way they saluted, uh, okay. nobody knows, and it's a little thing that people know about the Civil War. So what is um, a salute back then? Uh, it was this way, palm out. Yeah, oh. there you go. Andrew Stan, talk about um, the license that he gave you. Did he just let you, you know, the collaborations that you guys had? He's amazing. His, I mean, obviously his past speaks for itself, and. For me to breathe life into a childhood dream of his was an honor. When you're talking about Mars, you're talking about life on other planets. So where are you, Andrew? Where do you stand on life existing on other planets? I, I don't have a stance. I think Come I'm on, take a stand. <laughs> <laughs> take a stand. I think subconsciously it's happening because I've made Wally and now I've made uh, you know John Carter. And, I, and clearly I do hope there's more out there than what's on, on this planet. But I don't spend most of my time thinking about it. I'm too busy making movies. 120,000 Savorsky crystals all over you. How does that make a girl feel when you're wearing that kind of an elaborate dress? There was what nobody knows, and I'll tell you now, there was a whole belt that went under and through and up my crotch, so it was incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> you tell me what you go through for that okay. process. Well, uh, the character I play, Taz Takis, is motion capture. To do that, uh, I've got, you know, we film the scenes just like we do normally, but we want to keep the proportions right, and we want to make all the actions as, as, much like a normal film as possible before it's handed over to the animators. And it seemed to come from here as well. Well, hopefully. I mean, because we are playing those scenes. So those actions, those looks, those timing, all the stuff that is going on in the scene, hopefully will be reflected because the animation is taken from something that happened. So from the entire cast of John Carter, thanks for watching. And also, how would you like to see Disney's John Carter in Los Angeles? Well, all you have to do is register right now at velvetredtv.com. Good luck. Hey everyone, King of Phillips here with your update on Hollywood's hottest products. Now you might have noticed some real chunkiness on the red carpets lately. I'm speaking of jewelry, of course. The popular trend encompasses everything from earrings, necklaces, and rings, but the real statement pieces are the oversized wrist cuffs. You've seen them on Hollywood's Who's Who with Oscars or adorning A-list wrists on the pages of magazines, but they are without a doubt the hottest style of the moment. And the beauty of these pieces is that you don't have to be a fashionista or even have a star-sized bank account to make them work for you. Chunky wrist cuffs pair equally well with the summer dress and flip-flops, as they do with your favorite LBD and a pair of Louboutins for a night out on the town. 
And there's no shortage of variety. Big beads, leather, gold, silver, oh my. If you're in the mood for it, you can find it. My personal favorite pieces come from the Rachel Oscar collection. For a high-end red carpet look, her white leather and rhinestone cuff is camera ready, adding sparkle to any outfit and nearly guaranteed to catch the paparazzi's eye. Or at least the cute guy at the bar. And for a more relaxed look, Rachel's gray leather with vintage gold toned steel cut shoe buckle cuff makes you look like the tough biker chick you know you always wanted to be without ever having to get on a bike. And a big thanks to Stacy Coles and her charity Warm Giving for turning me on to these smoking hot pieces because I like my fashion like I like my dates. And if you are interested in some wrist adornment of your own, the Rachel Oliver cuffs can be found on our site, velvetredtv.com. Thanks for watching Hollywood's Hottest Products. I'm King of Phillips, and now I'm handing you back to the very fashionable Miss Ellen Kay. Eddie Murphy's jumping back into the box office fray with a thousand words. He plays a fast talking literary agent named Jack McCall, a guy who's 100% hustler. Take a look. You and this tree are now connected. Hello? Way when you talk, all the leaves fall off the tree. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back ribs. What happens when a tree loses all its leaves? I could die! Oh, I got a thousand words left. Can we talk? So what do you say we make a deal? Hello, Jack. Yeah! Minty, triple shot, latte. <laughs> Iced latte. <laughs> Extra milk? Nobody brings on the fast con better than Eddie Murphy. A Thousand Words is rated PG. And now it's time for my favorite part of the show, and I think it's yours too. It's where you get to win fantastic prizes on Velvet Red's weekly giveaway. Leo Quinones is everywhere, and now he's on the streets with the latest exclusive Velvet Red giveaway. Thank you so much, Ellen Kay. I am so excited right now. I'm coming to you from Hollywood Boulevard, my favorite movie theater on the entire planet. I'm talking about Disney's El Capitan Theater. It's beautiful. And right behind me is a gorgeous dress that was worn by Lynn Collins in John Carter. Of course, she's Princess Deja Thoris. She's stunning. 120,000 Savorsky crystals right there, all hand sewn. Well. John Carter came out 100 years ago, so basically every science fiction film has been inspired by John Carter. So I'm going to the movie fans, the film freaks, and I'm finding out who knows their science fiction. Here we go. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you the slideshow. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you a question, answer the question. Okay, okay here we go. I wanna hear Ben's rooting crowd. All right, Ben, in Back to the Future, a great movie. Yeah. Marty McFly gets in Doc Brown's DeLorean. Yeah. He's got to hit the gas. What is the proper speed for time travel? I think, I don't know, I think it's 78 miles per hour. Mm. Question number two. Now, the Starship Enterprise, Captain James T. Kirk, what movie or TV series are we talking about? That's Star Trek. The question is, in 1984, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger played a Cyberdyne cyborg in what classic film? That was The Terminator. If you hear the phrase, may the force be with you, what movie are you watching? You're watching Star Wars. <laughs> Early 80s, Sigourney Weaver kicking all kinds of butt on different planets. What movie? Alien. Yeah, all right. How about a hand for Ben, everybody? Did you know that John Carter was written 100 years ago? No, I didn't. Edgar Rice Burroughs. So basically every science fiction film has kind of borrowed from John Carter, wouldn't you say? Well, I guess so. Yeah. In Back to the Future, Marty McFly gets inside Doc Brown's DeLorean and has to go how fast to achieve proper time travel? Is it uh, 88? <laughs> well done. Captain of the Starship Enterprise, James T. Kirk, what TV or movie would, would we be talking about? Star Trek? That shows my age. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 1984, Cyberdyne Systems, Arnold Schwarzenegger plays this uh, really bad guy. What movie is it? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know it, I can't think of it. I'll be back. I know, I know all the lines. Uh, Austin La Vista. Terminator, sorry. Ah, yes, Terminator. <laughs> what movie would you hear the phrase, may the force be with you? Star Wars. Taylor Kitsch from Friday Night Lights is starring in what blockbuster opening this weekend? This movie. 
coming out. John Carter. Marty McFly, Back to the Future. How fast does he need to go for proper time travel? Oh, wow. Um, 1,000 miles per hour? Okay, we're moving forward. No problem. Okay. Ooh, he's cute. You know that was taken probably in 1965? I, I could tell maybe by the, the colors and whatnot, but... That's the actor who was in, in all the Priceline commercials. Priceline negotiator! Um, William Shatner? Yes, Arnold Schwarzenegger's biggest role. My sister's future husband? <laughs> she, has wow. a crush on, she has a crush on him since she was little. Okay. After all the stuff that he's pulled, your sister has a crush on a 67-year-old Arnold Schwarzenegger? In the Jingle All the Way movie. What's your sister's name? Oh, Mallory. Mallory, what's wrong with you? <laughs> All right, okay, here we go. Okay. What movie? Come on, this is easy. Um, this is easy. Can you give me a hint? It rhymes with Berminator. Terminator! Duh. What movie are you watching if you hear the phrase, may the force be with you? Star Wars! Nicely done. I can well tell done. by the little... Lightsaber? Lightsaber. Yeah, okay. Now, this is a female heroine who inspired millions playing Ellen Ripley in the 80s. What is the name of the film series? Wow. Um, oh, come on now. This one, I don't know. I don't even know who that is. That's Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver. She's in Heartbreakers, I know that. Ellen, uh, with Jennifer Love Hewitt and Ray Liotta. Great movie. Yeah. Alien? Alien, I knew it, I knew it. Yeah, you I, knew, I it. knew it. You, yeah, I 18 knew it. clues later. I was holding out. All right, here we go. Uh, listen, Taylor Kitsch. Friday Night Lights, okay. starring in what major blockbuster this weekend? Look at the picture, um, look around you, look around, look around. Planet of the Apes 3? Look around. <laughs> John Carter! <laughs> the blatantly obvious does not escape Kelly. I'm telling you, I get pumped up. We come down to Hollywood Boulevard, we meet nice people who like movies. That's what we're all about. But what about you watching? Let me take care of you. How about tickets to go see the Red Hot Chili Peppers? That's right, they've just been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You wanna go see the Chili Peppers? All you have to do is register right now at velvetredtv.com. Good luck to you. Ellen, right back to you. And one more movie to watch out for this weekend. If you're looking for something sinister at the movies, there's Silent House. Inspired by true events, the evil unfolds in real time. 88 minutes, it's super creepy. Take a look. I just thought I heard something upstairs. Daddy? Dad? Next week, meet me right back here for what's hot in movies, fashion, and giveaways. For Velvet Red, I'm Ellen Kaye.